All right, good evening. Coming up to 8 o'clock on Friday, the 2nd of June, 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. We've got plenty of showers and thunderstorms now moving east into portions of northwest Texas, western Oklahoma, the big country, part of the Concho Valley, though y'all seem to be getting kind of uh, missed out on this. And then down into the Edwards Plateau. Let's take a look further in. All those blue boxes you see, those are flash flood warnings for the potential of flooding, flooded roads, flooded creeks and streams over filled bar ditches, etc. This line of thunderstorms moving east into the big country. Some storms could have winds 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, maybe some nickel to quarter size hail, generally moving east at about 30 to 40, maybe even 50 miles an hour. Uh, this line of storms, relatively steady state for now, damaging winds, heavy rainfall. They will slowly continue to weaken as they move further east into the big country and into western North Texas, places like Wichita Falls down to Breckenridge by 10 p.m. Further south into portions of the Edwards Plateau, we have a cluster of severe thunderstorms capable of producing quarter to tennis ball size hail, winds of 60 to 75 miles an hour, and at times these thunderstorms have been producing tornadoes. We had a pretty large tornado on Highway 90 east of Sanderson about 45 minutes ago. That was documented by many storm chasers. Uh, these storms generally moving to the east-southeast at about 30 miles an hour could pose a direct threat to places like Del Rio, Brackettville, Spofford, Carta Valley, Loma Alta within the next 45 to 90 minutes. As we continue into the evening and overnight hours, the high-rise rapid refresh model is going to do a good job at showing us what we're expecting. Again, storms will continue to weaken as they move into western North Texas. We may actually see a bit of a lull, but then we may see new storms fire up across North Texas, Texoma, and Northeast Texas early tomorrow morning with plenty of cloud to ground lightning, locally heavy rainfall, maybe some small hail, and gusty winds. The overall severe weather threat going to be low with that. Not totally zero. I can't totally rule out some quarter size hail with that activity, but again, the overall severe weather threat low with that. Storms in the Edwards Plateau will likely begin weakening as they start pushing closer to Interstate 35 between uh, San Antonio and Laredo in a few hours as it as it as they outrun the upper level lift and we see a capping inversion start squishing these storms down but until then the potential for very large hail damaging hail strong winds maybe a tornado and heavy rainfall will continue across portions of the northern edwards plateau through probably 11 p.m to midnight otherwise severe weather threat for the state will be diminishing by midnight but not totally gone thereafter again we could still have a few storms continuing into the night and saturday morning across portions of north texas northwest texas texoma northeast texas and we may actually see some additional activity pop up early tomorrow morning but those will be much more pop-ups versus you know sustained organized thunderstorms so you can keep an eye on the sky with the free texas storm chasers mobile app and interactive weather radar in the mobile app just search for texas storm chasers in the google play apple app store and of course visit us on the website texasstormchasers.com slash radar we'll be keeping an eye on things here and we hope you do the same